Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discussing about the problems related to average age. Right? Let's see the first question in this session. See here. The average age of A and B is 30 years. Average age of A and B is 30 years. And that of B and C is 32 years. B and C average age 32 years. And that of the average age of A and C is 34 years. Now the question what he is asking is uh, find the age of C. Find the age of C. Here each and every sentence in each and every sentence average of A and B and average of B and C and average of uh, A and C. All these values are given. Whenever average of any two members or three members are given then it is very easy to calculate their sum. Why? Because sum of those numbers is equal to. As we know that in average topic, sum of observations is equal to average into number of observations. Number of observations. As we are talking about the persons, sum of A and B is equal to average into number of persons that is two members. Here, average of two members that is A plus B by 2 that is 30. If average is equal to 30, then sum of A and B, which is equal to average into 2, that is number of persons only 2, which is equal to 60. And similarly, B and C. Average of B and C is 32, therefore sum is equal to sum of B and C, 32 into 2, which is equal to 64. And last, average of A and C is 34. Therefore, sum of A and C is equal to 34 into 2, which is equal to 68. Now, here we know A plus B and B plus C and A plus C. How can we get this particular value C? That is very simple. First, before going to calculate the individual value of A or B or C, whatever the individual value of that particular person, first you need to calculate the Total sum of all three members. Why? Because uh, if you want the value of C, what you have to do is you have to subtract A and B from the total. If you want the value of A, you need to subtract B and C from the total. If you want the value of B, you need to subtract uh, C plus A from the total. That is the only thing you need to do. So, first of all, before going to calculate individual ages of any of the three members A, B or C, first you need to calculate uh, total A plus B plus C value. That we will get uh, by adding all these three. Why? Because uh, A plus B plus B plus C plus C plus A, which is nothing but two times of A plus B plus C. Two times of A plus B plus C. Why? Because A is repeated two times, B is repeated two times, C is also repeated two times. Therefore, after adding all these three, you will get two times of A plus B plus C, which is equal to. Now, you can add all these three, 60, 64 and 68, which is nothing but 192. Now, here you can cancel with uh, uh, two table, that is uh, 96, right? A plus B plus C is equal to 96. Now, you got that A plus B plus C is equal to 96. Here, the question what he is asking is, what is the age of C? If you want the age of C, C is equal to, I can write it as A plus B plus C minus A plus B minus of A plus B. Why? Because if you subtract A plus B value from the total, you will be left over with only C. In this way, you can directly calculate the individual values of A, B and C. As he is asking about the age of C, I will subtract A plus B from the total. Here, the total value is 96. Total value we got it as 96 minus A plus B value. What is A plus B value? 60. Therefore, the value of C is equal to 96 minus 60, which is equal to 36 years. Therefore, the age of C, the age of C is equal to 
36 years. Suppose if you want to calculate the age of A, here the total is 96 minus you need to subtract B plus C that is 64. Here the age of A is equal to 32. Suppose if you want B, total is 96 and if you subtract A plus C, you will get uh, that particular value B which is equal to here this value is how much here 28 96 minus 68 which is equal to 28 in this way you can calculate the individual values of a b and c but in this question he is asking about the age of c therefore your required answer is 36 years for this question let's move on to the next question see here the average age of the average age of a class of 39 students is 15 years. Average age of a class of 39 students is 15 years. Therefore, sum of 39 students, definitely we will get sum of 39 students, which is equal to average into number of persons. Here the average is 15 years and the number of persons are 39. Now you can calculate this value. Uh, if you calculate this value, 39 tens, 39 tens, 190, after that half of that value, that is 1, and next 9, 5. Now you can add these two. Here it is 18, and this one is 5. 585. 39 into 15, which is equal to 585 years. This is the total sum of 39 students. Now, what happens if the age of teacher is also included? Here, the sum of all the 39 students is 585. If teacher age is also added, then number of persons becomes 39 plus 1. Number of persons 39 students plus 1 teacher. Total number of persons are 40 members. Now the number of persons are 40. Average is increases by one year. Average is increases by as we know that average is equal to. What is meant by average? Sum of all the members divided by number of persons. Sum of 40 members which is nothing but we know that sum of 39 students 585 plus teacher age. I don't know the age of teacher. That is the reason why I am taking T only. Divided by number of persons are 40 because um, initially 39 students plus one teacher. Total 40 students, uh, 40 members. Now, the average is increased by one year. What is initial average? Initial average is given as 15 years. After adding teacher, the value is increased by one year. It means uh, average is equal to 16. Now you can do the cross multiplication. You will get the age of teacher. Here it is 585 plus T is equal to 16 into 40. 16 into 40 which is equal to 16 into 40. 16 4 sir, 64 0. 640. 16 into 40 which is equal to 640. Now you can take uh, T is equal to 640 minus 585. That will give you the age of teacher. Age of teacher is equal to age of teacher is equal to 640 minus 585. Here it is 40 plus 15 or 55. 55 years. Age of teacher is equal to 55 years. That is the age of teacher. In this way, you can solve uh, these kind of problems. Let's move on to the next question. See here. The average age of 5 members is 21 years. Here, average of 5 members is 21 years. So, sum of 5 members. Sum of 5 members is equal to average into number of persons that is equal to 105 years sum of five members which is equal to 105 years right now if the age of youngest member is five years here given that 
age of youngest member is 5 years then find the average age of the family at the time of birth of youngest member at the time of birth of youngest member what should be the average age of the family that is the question he is asking here youngest member in the family total 5 members are there out of those 5 members the youngest member age is given as 5 years now the question what he is asking what was the average age of the family at the time of birth of youngest member at the time of birth of youngest member means uh, here youngest member birth was taken place uh, five years ago five years ago five years past why because at present uh, his age is uh, five years uh, youngest member birth was taken place 5 years ago therefore we need to calculate uh, average age of family 5 years ago average age of family average age of family 5 years ago is equal to here this is the present sum of all the five members present sum of all the five members if we want to calculate average age of family 5 years ago, then which is nothing but sum of family, sum of family, right? Sum of family 5 years ago divided by number of persons, number of persons 5 years ago, right? This is the sentence. Why? Because as we are calculating average age of family 5 years back, then sum of family 5 years ago divided by number of persons 5 years back. Here, at present, we know that at present, the sum of all 5 members 105. As we are going backward, each and every person is reduced by 5 years. Each and every person is reduced by how many years? 5 years. Because uh, here, uh, as we are going backward 5 years, uh, we are calculating the average age of family 5 years ago. Therefore, each and every person age in the family reduced by 5 years. Like that, we have 5 members at present. Uh, so, 5 into 5. This much of value will reduce while we are going 5 years backward divided by number of persons five years ago at present five members are there but according to the question at the time of birth of youngest member there are only four members in the family youngest member birth at the time of birth of youngest member only four members are there in the family therefore average the required average is equal to 105 minus 25 divided by 4 which is equal to here it is 80 by 4 80 by 4 the value is uh, 20 years uh, 20 years that is the that was the average age of family 5 years uh, ago 20 years is the required answer some students will write in the denominator as 5 years uh, that is wrong way of doing the calculation. Why? Because 5 years ago at the time of birth of youngest member, only 4 members will be there in the family. That is the reason why we need to write 4 in the denominator. Don't forget this point. 20 years is the right answer for this question. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.